Hey, how's it going? My name is Nova and today I'm going to be upgrading my botting computer. Here are the specifications for the computer that I have now and here are the specifications for my new computer. The only things that I'm really going to keep from my old computer are the GPU and the RAM. The rest I'm upgrading. However, I do want to say that you don't actually need a super sick computer to start botting. Even the computer that I have now is quite overkill. And that's because most of your botting activity is going to take place on a server instead of your own computer. In fact, there's a lot of botters that just use a laptop to bot. For example, Tiana Porta, she operates off of a laptop and she gets more checkouts than the vast majority of botters. She's one of the best botters probably. So if you want to get started botting, uh, just keep in mind you don't got to spend an arm and a leg for a new computer. However, I do have some requests of some viewers asking to see what my computer setup looks like. So I thought that this would be an excellent video for me to upload. So without further ado, let's get building. Does it go? How do you know, dude? How do you know? Oh, okay. I think I know. Here, I'm grabbing two RAM sticks from my current computer and throwing it into the new one. I still want to be able to use this current computer just because I got other things to do on there, so that's why I'm not taking them all out yet. I think we're done with the motherboard for now, and on to the power supply. I got a modular power supply just so that I don't end up with cables that I don't need. This case is heavy, dude. It is empty and I am struggling to pick it up. Either that or maybe I gotta hit the gym or something because this is embarrassing. Remove this back part and time to put in the power supply. Now I'm going to install the radiator, but doing this in order was a mistake because I really struggled to plug things into the top of the motherboard since this radiator is in the way now. Now we just gotta plug in all the cables onto the motherboard. It is 1 a.m. and I'm still not finished yet. My goodness, it's taking a lot longer than I imagined. The front looking not so bad so far. Um, the back is looking like an absolute catastrophe. But uh, yeah, I gotta go to sleep now because there are a few drops tomorrow if I'm not mistaken. I can't even think straight. So yeah, I gotta get my ass to bed. This is so bad. I don't even know where to begin with this cable management. I just look so lost here. Eventually though, I figured it out. It's not the best, but it will do for now. I'm gonna put this back part up now that I removed earlier and it doesn't close whatever it should be okay i can barely pick this thing up Oh. 
Okay, it is the moment of truth. I plugged in my computer into the power. I've disconnected my second monitor. You see how there's no image there? And I connect it to this computer. And a few things have to happen. So first of all, I need it to turn on. Second of all, I need all the fans to be spinning. I need all the RGB to be working. And then I need to have an image on the monitor. So, um, a little bit nervous. I really hope I did everything correctly. We're about to find out. All right, I'm gonna press the on button. Oh, I didn't, okay. I was scared. I, I didn't turn the switch on. All right, now the switch is on. Oh, okay, that's a start. I'm gonna turn it on now. Oh, what a beauty. Wow. Please. Please give me something. Okay. All right. Press F1 to run setup. All right. Let's go. We did it. All right, I gotta go ahead and install Windows 10 on that now, so I'll be back. Although it's technically ready, I can't use it quite yet. Basically what I want to do is have the smallest amount of downtime possible. So before I fully commit to this upgrade, first I need to make sure almost everything is on the new computer first. My bots, my editing programs, any applications, servers saved, etc. So that's what I'm doing for the rest of the day. I know I can just do a data migration from my old drives to the new ones, but I just want a fresh clean install of everything, so that's why I've decided to not do that. However, for my main storage, I was planning to just use the hard drives that I already have. That should be fine. But it's not fine. I messed up. After installing these three fans over here, there actually isn't any room in the case to mount the hard drives that I plan to use. So therefore, I had to buy an SSD instead. Man, this is so much more expensive than hard drives, and I had to wait an extra two days for it to arrive. That sucks. In the meantime, I'm gonna clean up the desktop on my new computer. So once I have the main programs installed, I got them all here on my desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and separate them into different folders like so. Once that's done, I change the icons of the folders. For example, my bots folder is gonna have the Decepticon logo. I think it's quite fitting for bots, especially since most people think botters are evil and the Decepticons are the bad guys in Transformers, obviously. So it's a perfect folder icon for that category. Then I make the folder names invisible with a special character. And then I repeat that for the rest of the icons on my desktop. Then I choose small icons, I just think it looks cleaner. Next thing on my list is to make some adjustments to the taskbar to make it look more minimalist. If you're interested in doing something similar, I have a link in the description that leads to a YouTube video that explains how to do all of this. And last but not least, I have to choose a background image. My background image needs to have the following. Number one, it needs to be relaxing. So maybe something to do with nature. Number two, the dominant colors need to be white, gray, and blue so that it matches my setup. And these are the colors that I personally find calming. Number three, it has to be a background image where there's not too much going on. It has to be fairly simple. Number four, it has to look good on a multi-monitor setup like mine. After searching for 30 minutes for a background image, this is what I chose. Okay, honestly, this is the opposite of everything that I just said, but I felt like I was just spending way too much time finding a wallpaper, so I just gave up and threw this up there. This is just gonna be a placeholder for now until I got the computer fully set up. going to 
to do is connect this to my old computer first and transfer my storage from my hard drives into the new SSD. Once that's done, it's time to turn off this computer one last time. Now I gotta grab the rest of the computer parts that I plan to transfer over into the new one, which is a graphics card, the RAM, and the SSDs. So I was gonna work on the new computer on this coffee table, but now that there are things inside the computer case, it's actually very heavy, and I don't wanna risk the table collapsing in on my rabbit, so I just decided to work on the floor. with the old and in with the new. Okay, I'm not actually that weak. My old computer actually feels like I'm carrying a piece of paper in comparison to my new computer, which feels like I'm carrying an 80 pound weight. Almost there. Just plugging in my monitors and peripherals in the back now. That looks really nice on my desk. Okay, I've switched some cables around, plugged some new stuff in. Now for the real moment of truth, will it turn on? Mission accomplished. But wait, why is it only outputting to a single monitor? Took me a second to realize it, but it's because I didn't download the drivers to the graphics card yet. And once I did, all the monitors started working as intended. Only things left to do is change my multi-monitor display settings and change the background image. Here is the final result. upgrade was a success. It went fairly smooth and I didn't really have too many issues, other than me not being able to fit hard drives into the case. So what's gonna happen to my old computer? If you're interested, I'm auctioning it off on eBay. What I've actually done was take it apart, cleaned it a bit, reorganized the fan so that the airflow in the case is improved and so that it looks even better than when I had it. I've also stuck a 9070 graphics card in it, which is my backup graphics card just so that whoever buys it has one less part to worry about. It is an older graphics card, so maybe your frame rate wouldn't be optimal in max settings if you're gaming, but it gets the job done if you're not too hardcore of a gamer. This computer is basically ready for its new home. All you really need is RAM, an SSD, operating system, and obviously a computer monitor to get it working again. I've also included a brand new two terabyte hard drive. This is the only part that isn't pre-installed in the computer uh, because it is factory sealed and it's brand new. So I'll leave that up to you whether or not you want to install it. I'm also selling some other random stuff on my eBay as well. So check it out in case any of these catch your eye. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.